Hi there, it's J22 and welcome to the out of box review of the second charger, the IMAX B6 LiPoly charger. This charger is a LiPo or NiMi charger and um, can charge everything safely and much, much quicker than those stock LiPo chargers that you can get with your RC vehicles as RTR. So on um, this kit, um, at the moment I'm um, came from Supplier Direct in China, but soon we'll be able to buy it online and in store at Bournemouth RC. Um, dot co dot uk and um, and uh, yeah, but for very very reasonable prices, we're just checking all these products to make sure that they would be great for beginners um, and pros for their RC batteries and obviously the cars for their RC needs. So um, this charger comes with everything you need. It comes with the power supply and the all the charging cables you need and the power adapters and the different connectors you need for all your different types of batteries. So first thing coming out, we've got the um, power lead. All right, this is the three pin UK one. Obviously they are available in different um, countries as well if you need it. This one is the actual power adapter, the power supply. All right, you can see this is laptop battery charger or one like that. So this is the kind of style um, power supply it uses, um, like a battery charger style. And of course, last coming out of the box is this really nice gift box packed IMAX B6. And you can see it's a LiPoly balance charger. Six cells, so you can charge up to six cells. It's got discharge functions and something else there. Ah oh, yes, the LIFE batteries as well. This one can charge specifications you can charge uh, 1 to 6 cells lipo 1 to 15 cells of nicad or nima batteries and lead acid or pb you can charge 2 to 20 volts and it's got charge rates of 0.1 amps to 5 amps and discharge rates of 0.1 amps to one amps. Okay, so we will do uh, remove this charger from the box, take a look at its functions, and then we will test the charger out. Okay, so let's take a look in this box. Inside here, we've got the charger, which is in the nice um, casing, and then under here, we have got the instruction manual and loads of different charging leads all right you can see these ones are banana plug style we've got dean's connectors we've got jr connectors bc connectors and this one there for the glow igniter as well so you can charge very, very small size batteries and in here is an additional power cable for the charger if you want to run it off like 12 volt battery or separate power supply of your own choice. The instruction manual looks very neat and nice. You've got all the in English instructions written in there and it's a nice handy little book to keep because this one will guide you into tuning your batteries properly. So we've got a nice little instruction manual system and uh, all written in proper English as well. So taking a look at the charger, remove it from here and you can see it's a very, very neat little unit here with four buttons only, battery type and uh, these different buttons to adjust the voltage etc and start button to start charging there. And on the side, uh, by the way, this is LCD digital charger, so you've got LCD screen. On this side, we've got temperature sensor, DC volts in. And on this side, we've got the banana plugs, and here are the balance plugs as well. And all the different cells of batteries are shown on the top, so you can um, will know where to plug in your different batteries. Underneath we have some warning signs. Apart from that it looks a really really neat charger. So what we will do is we will take a look at it and um, try to charge up a LiPo battery and see just how easy it is to use as me never used this one before. 
Okay, so this one is plugged in, and I'm just going to go ahead and connect it to the charger. So, plug is here. Okay, so it's turned itself on. Okay, so you can see very bright screen here, LiPo charge, 5 amps auto. So, let me um, get out the correct connectors and we'll charge this 11.1 volt LiPo battery. Okay, so these connectors first. So, black to black, red to red. And it's not very easy when you have a camera in the other hand. There we go. So we got two connectors, and then on this end we got Dean's connector. And then now, of course, you just need the Dean's connector for this one. So we can take the battery and connect it to this Dean's connector. Okay, so this would be okay if you're just going to do lipo charge but if you want to do balance charge then you need to connect this balance plug into the balance plug over here as well um because that obviously is the balance plug for the lipo so i'd recommend you use balance charging um on the lipo batteries um for more effective charging and longer life of the battery so let me connect this one um, obviously it's a 3 cell 11.1 volt lipo so we need to connect it to the 3 cell plug onto that one first we can select the type of battery which is lipo battery enter and then we can go to this one to lipo balance All right, and then set the amps now this is 2200 mAh, so I'm going to go 2.2 amps, so 2.2 amps, enter, and then go down to 11.1 volts, 3S battery, and then we can press and hold, and it will check the battery, and you can see that we selected 3 cell, and the system um, agrees that it is a three cell and then all we need to do is press start and now that is charging our battery so there you have it that was very very simple to use that is the first time I've ever used um, this light poly battery and also this light poly charger as well and that was very 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 simple to use very very simple to use okay so you can see it's great for a beginner if you could go this one, you can see all the different cells as well. So you can see it will charge this one accordingly to your um, your charging um, requirements. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this review of the IMAX B6 charger. So far, it's doing a great job. Enjoy it, and more videos are coming soon. YouTube.com forward slash JTHONY12.